Number 67. Is a 197-pound weightlifter light enough to compete in a class limited to those weighing 90 kilograms or less? Okay, so it looks like we have a discrepancy in units, right? We have 197 pounds, which is part of the English system, compared to 90 kilograms or less. So basically 90 kilograms and under. This is part of your SI unit, your metric unit. So we have to convert one into the other in order to compare. Remember, you can't compare apples to bananas, meaning you can't compare two different units. You got to compare apples to apples. So we either have to turn pounds into kilograms or we can turn kilograms into pounds. Now, since this is a weight class of 90 kilograms or less, I probably would turn the pounds into kilograms. So I'm going to go with the first one. So I want to convert 197 pounds, which is LB, and I want to see if I can convert it into kilograms because then I can compare them. So this would be technically my roadmap. Remember, whenever I like to convert things, I just like to write a roadmap. Makes things easier. Okay, so we start with the bigger picture. We say, do I know a direct conversion between pounds and kilograms? And where are we going to go? You guys should know by now. The common conversion factors chart. Now this is all about dealing with masses, right? This is a mass. Pounds are a mass and so are kilograms. So I'm looking at the mass part of the chart. So I'm scanning it and boom, the first one, I see one kilogram equals 2.2046 pounds. So I know a direct conversion between pounds and kilograms. So this one is only a one step conversion. Now remember, this is basically kind of useless unless we use it in a ratio. So we got to use those ratios. So I will put the ratio down here. We can either say one kilogram is equal to 2.2046 pounds, or since they're the same, I can switch it up. So I can say 2.2046 pounds is equal to one kilogram. And these ratios are what we're going to use to convert. So now when we convert, we always start with what we're given. So what we're given is what we want to convert. We want to convert this 197 pounds. So that's my given. So I will put that starting here, 197 pounds. Now, remember, whenever we convert, we always multiply by a ratio. So I times by that fraction line. And I don't want pounds anymore, so I have to put that on the opposite side. Remember, if you want to cancel anything out, it always has to be on the opposite side. It can never be on the same side. This would not cancel out, so it has to be on the opposite side. And what you want to put will be on the top, in this case, so kilograms. So let's see, what conversion do I know between kilograms and pounds? It is this one that I'm gonna use because kilograms on the top and pounds are on the bottom. So one kilogram equals 2.2046 pounds. And the pounds will cancel and I'm left with kilograms. So we usually multiply the top, multiply the bottom, and then we divide the two. But now in this case, the top is literally 197 times one. And anything times itself is just its same number. So 197 over this number is the only one that's in the denominator. So I'll just keep it. 2.2046. And now I will do the division. So here we go. 197 divided by 2.2046. I get 89. It's a lot of decimals, so I'll just cut it off after a couple. Three, four, oh, sorry, three, five, eight, six. And now the unit will be in 
what you're left over with, so kilogram. So this would be kg. But now I need to know how many sig figs we're going to have. Well, it all depends on what we're given. It all depends on what we start with here. So how many sig figs were here? Well, the 1, 9, and the 7 count, so there's 3 sig figs here. So I go back to my answer, 8, 9, 3. The 5 will tell me if I should round, and 5 or above always puts the number up, so this would actually be a 4. So my answer would be 89.4 kilograms. So that means that the 197-pound weightlifter really equals 89.4 kilograms. Now the question was, is this weightlifter light enough to compete in a class that's limited to weighing 90 kilograms or less? Well, he just, or she, just made it. They were 89.4, which is less than 90 kilograms. So the answer would be yes, the weightlifter is light enough to compete. Box that answer off. We are all set to go. Awesome job, guys. This one was an easy one, only one step conversion, but nonetheless, it gives you great practice. I'll see you guys all in the next question. And if you guys want to be the first ones to know when our new batch of questions are coming out, click the subscribe button. We send them out daily, but you'll guys be the first to know if you do subscribe. Thank you, and I will see you guys in the next question. Take care.